Hi, it's Signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, and Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And those of you cross watching, welcome to your weekly love tarot messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Oh, that's way too many cards. Okay, you are you're in an energy of alignment. You are aligning yourself with the right energies, with the right situations, the right circumstances here. You're also in a very powerful manifesting mode, guys. So um, watch your thoughts really closely. Also, you know, now's a really good time to really put your intentions out there, okay? Um, because it feels like you're manifesting, you're attracting, you're aligning, you know, um, you're drawing people into you. It's a very good energy. You're in a very good place here. And things are slowly coming together for you. Slowly but surely. Things are lining up for you. There's also romantic energies lining up for you. Because I see for some of you, I see choices and decisions that you're going to have to make between two very different romantic energies, two or more romantic energies, or between some sort of situation here, a decision that involves you having to decide whether you keep going with something or whether you end it. The decision is in your court, okay? So the ball is in your court. You decide, you get to decide. So it feels like you hold the power here. So Nine of Cups, you know, a wish come true. Your manifestations are coming to fruition. Uh, things are lining up for you. Things are working out for you. It's a very good energy. Take advantage of this wonderful energy, right? Um, With Nine of Wands, okay, Nine of Wands and the Devil card here, there's something here that you're doing, it's hurting you. You might not be aware of it, but it feels like it's hurting you, or you're hurting a situation or a relationship of some sort. Um, it feels toxic. This could be, it could mean that you're dealing with an individual who is toxic, okay, someone who is detrimental to the health of this relationship the health of this connection someone who is detrimental to your health your emotional your spiritual your physical self um health sorry maybe it's you okay maybe you're the toxic one maybe you have toxic traits you have toxic habits here that need to be um looked at or maybe the both of you are toxic for each other something is Something here is causing a lot of a lot of strain, a lot of emotional. It's a very emotionally draining energy. Okay, nine of wands. Given the uh, multitude of the wands here, this is something that you're so accustomed to it that you don't even realize just how detrimental it is to you. Okay, so it could be a habit of yours and, you know, you could excuse it by saying, oh, but it's, you know, it, it's, a, it's a force of habit. Okay, but if it's, you know, clearly causing you harm, it's not a very good habit and habits can change. Um, you know, if, if it's a person here, it feels like you've been putting up with this person, th their toxicities or this toxic relationship for far too long okay and you keep making excuses for them or you 
do things to overcompensate for their toxic behavior. So it feels like you might not be aware of it. Okay, something he, the relationship that you're in might not be healthy. Um, your habits might not be healthy. Your way of thinking might not be healthy. Okay, you might not be aware of it. But if it's taking away from your happiness and not adding to your happiness, then it's definitely toxic, okay? And it feels like the cards here are inviting you to take a closer look and make that choice, okay? What are you choosing between? I'll tell you. You're choosing between the short-term pleasure that this toxicity gives you or the long-term pain that it's essentially causing you. And, you know, it, you know that that's, that's an easy choice, right? So something key... You need to cut it out or you need to put an end to it or you need to, you know, turn a negative into a positive because it's draining you. And I don't think, you know, maybe there's a reason why you're always so tired. You're also always so fatigued. It's so it could be draining you emotionally, but it could also be manifesting itself as physical as pain as well as physical ailments in your body. OK, so you, you need to take a closer look. The situation is unique and personal to you. And of course, you know, only you know what, what that really is. Someone here feels like they're coming back into the picture. And look, it, it could be a toxic energy. Okay. And maybe the cards here are kind of like giving you a bit of a heads up. Because someone here is returning. This person is high spirit, high energy, lots of energy here. This person is coming back into the picture. They're rushing back to see you. They're coming back with a bang here. Um, but see, this, this person is a very restless energy. If you're expecting this person to come back into the picture and stay, I don't know that it, it's, that's going to happen, okay? Because this is someone who, they're coming back just like they left in the first place. Very abruptly, very suddenly, very unexpectedly, and almost not even accounted for. So... You know, if you expect this person to come back and give you a long-term healthy relationship. I'm not saying that they can't ever give you that, but not right now. Because this energy is very restless. It feels like they still, you know, exude some player type energy. They still want to have their fun. They still want to play their fields. They still have this notion that, you know the grass is greener elsewhere or they want to explore greener pastures elsewhere okay this isn't someone who's ready to settle they're restless this isn't someone who wants commitment they want to play okay so you can't turn a player into husband or girl or you know wife material not just yet anyhow um it's someone you care about. Here's the thing. It's someone you care about. I feel like for some of you, you have to make a choice because there's someone here you care about this individual. You do. You care about this individual, but I don't know that they show you the same amount of care or love in return. Okay? Or, you know, you can still love someone who is toxic, right? You can still love someone who has toxicities or who has addictions or who has negative traits. But loving that person is also hurting you. Because this is a situation that feels like it's just, it's, it's, it's got a very strong negative influence with the devil's energy. It's, it's draining you, it's exhausting you, it's too much. So, you know, some of you have to choose between someone who you care about but is toxic, or a, a connection with them is toxic. Or otherwise, you know, removing this person from your life and creating space for someone else to, you know, replace that connection. Or there are two very different people in your life. One, you know, can give you a healthy, happy relationship. But you're at a distance. I don't know why, but it feels like you're at a distance to this person. Maybe emotionally, maybe because... You can't bring yourself to get to know this individual because you're still holding space for an ex in your life, right? With the devil's energy. Um, and for some of you, that's exactly who might be coming back into the picture, an ex, okay? But and I'm not saying that you can't work it out this time around, but for some of you, 
you just have to remember you know the past calls the past will be calling i don't know that it has anything new to say or you know i don't know why but i just had this energy that just get this feeling that you know this person they're an ex for a reason that's the message that's coming up but then again you're an expert on your own relationship so you know use your discretion use your dis uh, discernment and your judgment when it comes to a particular situation just remember if it's not adding to your happiness it's taking away from it and it's not worth it okay guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye